Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today's video came about due to a lot of the questions I get in the comments section. I'm always grateful to the people who comment and engage with my videos. It means a lot that you would spend the time to ask questions or give feedback on my videos. Now, before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Spellslinger is one of my favorite ways to play Commander. Is it is my favorite guild, and the idea of winning the game using nothing but instants and sorceries fills me with mad scientist joy. I I'm an evil scientist, not a mad scientist. There's a difference, subtle, I grant you. That being said, there are several ways to pull this off. You can gain infinite mana by casting a big enough ritual and then casting Reiterate with buyback, then kill the table with a giant X spell. You can make infinite copies by copying an instant or sorcery spell on the stack, then copying the copy spell with another copy spell and killing the table with Professor Onyx or Ralstorm Conduit triggers. You can generate an army of tokens and overrun your opponents. You can storm off, casting tons of cantrips every turn and killing the table with a few creatures that have prowess. There are tons of ways to do it, and I wanted to talk about some of them. But before we do, a quick word from our sponsor. As I'm sure you've heard by now, this channel is sponsored by Ultimate Guard. One of my favorite products Ultimate Guard has is their Xenoskin Omni Hive. Years ago, when my family and I would all go play Standard together, we would bring all of our decks inside of Xenoskin Omni Hives. We could fit everyone's decks, spare tokens and dice, and everyone's playmats into two of these massive boxes. Well, the new ones are here, and instead of five 60 card decks or four commander decks, these can fit 8 commander decks, or 10 60 card decks. This thing is massive and I can't wait to finish filling it up with my decks. Find out if your local game store carries Ultimate Guard products, or click the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. The easiest way to explain the different deck types is probably to go over their win cons. Remember, a commander deck will mostly look something like this. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Now you can skimp a bit on lands and ramp if you're running a ton of cantrips and card advantage, but I wouldn't go too low. My Balmore deck only runs 32 lands, but it has 14 pieces of ramp and about 16 cantrips. As a general rule, I would cut one land for every two cantrips. But not every Spellslinger deck wants cantrips. Sorry, I'm getting a little off track here. Okay, first of all, the easiest Spellslinger deck to understand is the Token Generator deck. You want to cast a ton of spells so that your creatures create an army of tokens to overrun your opponent. Maybe you're running Locust God or Zyrus as a wheel deck. Most likely, you're running something like Ovika, Talrand, or Lord of the Nazgul. The advantage to this deck is that you're an army in the can and can easily rebuild after a board wipe. The difficulty you'll find in this deck is that you'll often have a wrong half problem. I've played my Balmore deck many times and only found one or two token generators and a ton of instants and sorceries, but I've also found all my token generators and only one or two instants and sorceries. So the deck becomes a balancing act of running enough creature generators as well as enough spells to trigger those creatures. In my experience, you'll want about a 3 to 1 ratio of spells to creatures in a deck like this. In other words, if you have 10 creatures that care about you casting instants and sorceries, you'll want about 30 instants and sorceries. And since you're running a lot of creatures that care about casting instants and sorceries, you can fill the deck with a ton of cantrips. Now, I know that some people may not call the token generator deck a proper spell slinger deck, because you're not actually winning with spells. There is some logic to this, as Talran Sky Summoner's primary win con is Drake tokens. But those Drakes are created by casting instants and sorceries. So while you may not be winning from casting Opt or Brainstorm, without those spells, a win is a long way off. After all, Talran is just a little guy, so you'll need to attack each opponent 11 times to win with commander damage. The next one is also fairly easy to build. X Spell Tribal. You'll want as much mana as possible. Maybe you want a group hug sub theme? Go for some mana flares and heartbeat of spring effects in your deck? I built my Riku deck as a sort of X spell tribal based on the idea of copying Nyx Bloom Ancient a bunch of times. This way, my lands would tap for a ton of mana and I could cast giant spells to kill the table. 
So far, my record is nine copies of Nick's Bloom Ancient at the same time. Each land tapped for 19,683 mana, or 39,366 in the case of my bounce lands. That made winning with a copied expansion explosion easy. Meanwhile, Cute Stuff has a Yurlock of Scorched Thrash deck that it has an Enchantress core, tons of damage doublers and mana doublers, and usually wins with a giant Exsanguinate or Crackle with power. You don't have to be an Is It to be a Spellsinger deck, but it does help. The third type is a Storm deck. This type of deck is very difficult to pull off, but it is possible. Your best bet is to run cost-reducing effects like Electromancer or the Medallions and cast spells that let you draw multiple cards. If you can combine this with effects like Stormkiln Artist or Burgy God of Storytelling to generate more mana, all the better. And then, once you've cast enough spells, you win the game with a Storm spell like Tendrils of Agony or Brain Freeze. This does require a lot of setup though, and is much tougher to achieve in multiplayer formats. Although, you can have someone like Feather or Veyron in the command zone and win via commander damage. Sort of a hodgepodge of Storm and Voltron. Finally, there's my favorite type of Spellslinger. This one is difficult to explain, but Cute Stuff told me that she doesn't consider a commander deck to be a proper Spellslinger deck unless it utilizes Thousand Year Storm as a win con. Of course, this is because she's lost to me every time I've untapped with that card. I'm honestly not sure which she hates more, Thousand Year Storm or Kalia. Whichever one is on board. Getting back on topic, winning with a deck like this often relies on permanence. Either creating infinite loops with a pair of copy spells and Ral Storm Conduit on board, or creating stacks of ever more ridiculous advantage through copying all of our spells. My two favorite combos with Thousand Year Storm are Mana Morphos and Narset's Reversal, or Cantrip into Tutor, Tutor for Insult, Injury, and Lightning Bolt, cast a Cantrip, then Insult, then Lightning Bolt. Each of those five Lightning Bolts now deals 48 damage. Can you think of any other types of Spellslinger decks? Who is your favorite Spellslinger commander? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom commander deck based around your specifications and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jiraiya, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Ignis, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Alex, Daniel, Steve, Kevin, Alex, Cookie, Nick, Borgi, Jake, and Exiled Rogue. You guys are awesome. I post new commander deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.